1571, the Yucatan public became sick to the plague. One man tracked down a plant and alongside others, drank it. The substance turned individuals blue and made them unequipped for taking in air. They immediately moved to the sea and made a progress in the profound water, Tolokan. One of the ones who ingested the plant had a child named Kayukayolkan. The child grew up to become the lead of Tolokan. At the point when Finn kicked the bucket, she requested to be covered on the land. K.U.K. Ulkin drove a few gatekeepers up to the land where he saw progress. They went after the progress to account for his mom's entombment. One of the residents referred to him as, Namer, signifying, the kid without affection. Shuri works in her lab, making a solid attempt to make a fake heart-molded spice to use for her sibling and Wakanda's top dog, Chala, who is passing on from a disease. Ramonda gradually strolls into the lab, reporting the Lord's demise. After a year, Wakanda is experiencing difficulty with different countries needing their vibranium. The Dora Milaj discover French military men attempting to take them from their station. Afterwards, Ramonda converses with the assembled countries and uncovers the French's endeavors to take. She reminds the nations that despite the fact that the Dark Puma is gone, they will in any case battle. At a mining station, Americans mine in the sea utilizing a vibranium finder that was made by an MIT understudy, Riri Williams. They utilize this to find vibranium in the sea. Out of nowhere, they go under assault by Talacanals who don't need them taking their vibranium. The final helicopter of survivors is struck somewhere around Neymar. In Wakanda, Ramanda and Shuri go to the water and grieve the year since Chala's passing. They consume their memorial service articles of clothing to imply the finish of the grieving time frame, regardless of Shuri not being totally prepared for this. Neymar then, at that point, shows up, getting past the boundary by going under the water. He uncovers to them the presence of Tolokan and believes their assistance should prevent outsiders from taking Vibranium. He additionally makes sense of that Wakanda isn't the main spot that has Vibranium, Tolokan has it as well. Ramonda reprimands him, stressed by his presence. He lets them know he will kill the researcher who created the machine and that they can help him, however they can't hold him up. Shuri and Okoye go to meet Everett Ross, who gives them the name and area of the youthful researcher, regardless of perhaps offering private data. Okoye and Shuri then, at that point, go to Cambridge, Massachusetts to track down Williams. They follow her to her carport where she uncovers that she is dealing with an Iron Man type protection. In any case, they are trailed by the FBI. The three move away, Okoye in a vehicle, Shuri in a cruiser, and Williams in her protective lair. Out of nowhere, they are met by Talacanals. Atuma and Nemora. A short encounter closes in Shuri and Williams getting caught. Ross shows up at the scene the following day and meets with his ex, Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. He additionally tracks down Kamoyo globules and conceals them. In Wakanda, a chafed sovereign Ramonda denounces Okoye for losing Shuri, which is exacerbated by past episodes, for example, when she apparently favored Killmonger when he usurped the privileged position, and flames her from her situation as broad. Shuri and Williams awaken in Tolokan. Neymar shows Shuri the development, attempting to persuade her regarding his beliefs, in any event, giving her his mom's armband. Nonetheless, she differs in killing Williams. In the meantime, Ramonda goes to Haiti to see Nakia, who had left Wakanda six years earlier. She requests that Nakia track down Shuri for her. Nakia does a few spying and sorts out the area. She then breaks Williams and Shuri out as Ramonda converses with Neymar about his arrangement. They return to Wakanda, yet just for additional torture as Neymar and his kin attack. They flood the city causing a full-scale war. Neymar deals with all of the Wakandan vehicles prior to flooding the royal chamber holding Ramonda and Williams. Williams begins suffocating, so Ramonda swims to save her. She can get Williams to somewhere safe and secure, yet just to suffocate simultaneously. Shuri grieves her mom's passing as Neymar tells her she is sovereign at this point. He and his kin then leave the country. In the meantime, Allegra de Fontaine figures out that Ross has been speaking with Wakanda this entire time and has him captured. Baku converses with Shuri after the burial service and gives her ethical judgment that she shouldn't kill Neymar. He then, at that point, tells her he will give lodging to the uprooted Wakandans following the assault. Shuri then utilizes Neymar's mom's wristband to make the counterfeit heart-molded spice which at long last works. She goes to the astral plane in the wake of taking it and is welcomed by Eric Killmonger, who claims they are something similar. They contend a peace before Shuri claims she will kill Neymar out of retribution. Shuri awakens and makes herself a suit. She then drops into a gathering among Baku and the older folks as the Dark Puma. In planning of the fight, Shuri and Williams understand that they could debilitate Neymar by warming his body up to where it can't get oxygen. 
They then, at that point, make a second Iron Heart shield. Shuri gives Okoye new reinforcement, acting similar as Iron Man's 2, called the 12 p.m. Heavenly Messengers. Okoye initiates Annika to be separated of her two lady group. In the sea, they utilize a vessel to bait the Talakanals into a snare. The fight starts as Neymar appears to acquire the upper hand. Nonetheless, Dark Jaguar traps him in an Imperial Claw Warrior as they remove off from the fight. In the meantime, the Dora Milaj battled the Talakanals on the vessel while the Jabari clan, Nakia, and the others fight the ones on top. Ironheart and the 12pm Heavenly Messengers deal with the airborne Talakanals.